Senator Marshall. Yep. Thank you, Madam Chair. I want to start by echoing Ranking Member Burr's comments concern that for all practical purposes, this committee is going to spend a trillion dollars over the next 10 years, and there's been no input from the minority. I was sent here to save Medicare, and I'm afraid what I'm seeing could destroy Medicare, that already Medicare is on its way to a, to a financial crisis. I'm concerned that when we expand Medicare, it's going to dilute it for those senior citizens that we have already. I want to turn now and, and talk about unemployment and vaccine mandates. As, as you all know, we had record unemployment through the COVID epidemic, uh, partially mainly because of government shutdown. And Kansas, like many states, just did horrible trying to filter through the unemployment issues. Our office got more calls and complaints about, the, about trying to access the unemployment program than any other issue. It dominated our phones and our emails uh, for over a year. Probably the biggest fraud we're gonna see from the trillions of dollars we've appropriated for COVID will be unemployment fraud. Kansas is estimated to have $700 million of fraud. I'm gonna guess the nationwide it'll be $70 billion. $70 billion that could have went uh, towards hardworking Americans who needed the help. On top of this now, the White House has issued a vaccine mandate, which is gonna, so many people are gonna lose their jobs and gonna go back to unemployment now. My phone again, blowing up from small businesses, from big businesses. They're telling me maybe 30 to 50% of their line workers, the blue collar workers are not vaccinated. They don't plan on getting vaccinated. This is a personal choice they've made. This vaccine mandate is a slap in the face of so many people that ran to the battle. The nurses, the doctors, the ambulance drivers, our police officers, they developed natural immunity because there was no vaccine. The natural immunity well proven to be better than vaccines, but the CDC and this White House will not acknowledge natural immunity. So you can see that we're on the path to more record numbers of people becoming unemployed because of Joe Biden's vaccine mandate. So my question obviously is for Mr. Rodriguez. You have little if any experience dealing with unemployment. How will, will this experience, and we see unemployment rates spike again here in the next several months due to this vaccine mandate. What is your plan to help Kansas and other states be able to handle uh, the, the problem better. Senator, uh, thank you for your question, um, and thank you for the, the, the concern you have for your, for your constituents uh, during very difficult times. Uh, you know, the, the president and the administration are so committed uh, to making sure and reducing the number of uh, unvaccinated Americans, decreasing hospitalization, um, uh, making sure, and, 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 and it's primarily because they're trying to protect life, but also because it allows us to make sure schools can remain open. Uh, to yes, make that's sure not my question. Yeah, I think, look, I'm in favor of the vaccine. I've been vaccinated, my parents vaccinated. I hope they get the booster shot this week. But there is a group of people, no matter how much you pontificate, no matter how much Dr. Fauci pontificates, it's not going to get the vaccine. There's gonna be a spike in unemployment. What are you gonna to do to help prevent this fraud from reoccurring and help Kansans get their unemployment insurance in a timely fashion? Absolutely, and as, as you know, absolutely the, the, the strength of uh, the unemployment system uh, is not where it needs to be still. Uh, prior to the pandemic, uh, we know uh, that there were long-standing challenges. So what's your solutions? Uh, we, we don't need to describe the problem again. I've described the problem. What are your solutions to the problem? Uh, if confirmed, uh, my goal would be to carefully monitor the 53 unemployment systems and make sure the right people are getting the right benefits on time. Uh, it would be to support the administration's ongoing efforts to provide assistance to states. Um, I described you know, a little earlier, uh, particularly with security and identity ver verification issues, um, but also to help states streamline their systems. Uh, a lot of these systems are outdated 
Uh, in some states, they were outdated when they you know, came online. We're talking about 1980s technology in some states. Um, and also to enforce the laws regarding unemployment, um, you know, to make sure that they're fairly administering the programs. I share your commitment to making sure that these systems work. Uh, we hope that uh, we, we don't have uh, another crisis, but the administration has been committed, and you see it in the president's budget proposal, uh, to making sure that we ha the, the 21st century unemployment system also has mechanisms to automatically ramp up. And currently, our systems are not able to do that, but they should be able to. It's an administ administration's priority. Um, and they've also said that they want to adjust the funding mechanisms to make sure that, uh, that our unemployment systems are more nimble uh, when it comes to staffing and resources, uh, et cetera. So uh, if confirmed, I'd be honored to uh, work with you uh, in making sure that uh, our, our systems are strong, secure, and accessible. Thank you. I yield back 